What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up graphics in Revit. So I've done this project where I've uh, modeled a small studio apartment in Revit and check that video out, first link in the description. And uh, I'm just going to show you, be showing you now how to create this cool looking 3D view that shows off the whole apartment. Uh, it's kind of an uh, isometric, isometric uh, 3D view that shows off the, the whole entire apartment in just one view and it looks really cool. But before we get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day, and follow me on social media as well. And if you want to download this uh, Studio Apartment project, check out my Patreon, second link in the description, you can download all of my project files, I've got over 150 Revit files so far. But anyway, let's get into it. So. This is the project that I'm talking about, and as you can see, it's a, a studio apartment. Uh, it's, it's got a little bathroom, it's got a little living area, a dining area, and this is a Murphy bed. And we're going to actually be creating two views, one for the like the day uh, setup and one for the night setup. So first thing we need to do, we need to open this thing up. So as you can see over here, we've got these two walls uh, that are kind of blocking the, the whole view. So uh, I'm just going to select both of them and uh, change the top constraint to uh, uh, unconnected and then here for the unconnected height let's just set it to something like uh, 40 centimeters and as you can see this now opens up the whole apartment uh, but in this uh, here uh, uh, this here corner it doesn't really look right so maybe we can fix that up here so maybe this wall can go to the to the other side maybe align it kind of like that yeah, and uh, now if we go back into our 3D view, let's just open it up. And as you can see now, it looks a bit better when this uh, wall is going all the way to the other side. Uh, but actually, I would like to kind of block out this uh, portion because it just looks weird when this uh, wall is missing over here. So we'd like to have this wall over here, the this one. So just go here to edit profile and then you can uh, pick this line perhaps and maybe do one line on top over here and let's see yeah that looks right and just go in trim and extend so TR is the shortcut and you trim and extend this trim and extend that and you hit finish and it looks kinda like this and it looks now weird so you need to extend this part a bit yeah kinda like that maybe we can make it a bit smaller let's see yeah it looks I, I think it looks right in this kind of arrangement. Now to set up the correct view you uh, hit this little uh, uh, drag corner mark of the uh, this view cube and now you get like the perfect isometric view with like 45 uh, degree angles and as you can see now the bathroom looks kind of weird and you can't really uh, see anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the shower uh, this wall this wall as well and uh, this door over here if I can only select it okay you just hold the control and then you get this little plus sign so you can add elements and if you hit a shift you get this little minus sign and then you can deselect elements Anyway, we've got these selected and just right click, uh, go to override graphics in view and select by element. And uh, now here we can just bring the, uh, the transparency down to something like 80 and I like to turn on half tone. Hit apply, OK, and this is what it looks like. So now, as you can see, you, you can see that, that there is a shower, there are some walls, uh, but they're all in half tone. Maybe actually I'm going to bring this up a bit. Uh, just to make it a bit more visible, maybe 260. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it looks a bit better at 60. Okay, so once we have this set up, let's uh, turn on the realistic view. And when we do that, uh, we're going to have a problem. As you can see, this is now uh, hollow. There is nothing really underneath. If I rotate around, as you can see, we don't have any floor. And uh, let's just set this back to our view and let's add a floor. So the way you would usually add floors is go to level one, uh, go to floor, uh, let's do a rectangle floor like this and let's set the material for the floor. So we're just going to edit type, hit edit, uh, go here, uh, edit by category for the material. And I'm just going to go to fabric and find this uh, carpet with stripes. Yeah, I really like this one, load it in. And once it's loaded, just hit apply, hit OK, and now you've got your carpet. But when I hit OK, 
apply okay again and uh, oops and I just finish this off and go into 3d uh, cancel yeah go into 3d this is what you get so you get your nice little carpet but the problem is it appears here on the sides as well and it just doesn't look right uh, it, it shouldn't look that way so what you have to do is you need to go back into uh, level one go into edit boundary and then bring it in a bit so bring it to the inner uh, sides of the walls kind of like this hit finish and then when you're going to 3d it's going to look better but if I orbit around as you can see now it's kind of poking through now on our particular view that we're doing it won't be showing but if you want to kind of orbit it around it might look ugly so uh, what you can do you can select all of the outside walls like this and then give it a base offset of minus 15 centimeters and that should cover that but here you just need to bring this up a bit so go into edit profile and just bring it up finish okay and now it looks right and if we orbit around it's uh, just flat uh, on the uh, on the downside so let's go back over here and this now already looks really cool but let's add something else so because we uh, kind of uh, deleted these walls or made them sh shorter let's uh, create a view that shows what this would look like if the walls were actually there and for that I like to use model lines so you just go here to model line and you start off by setting the placement plane let's go with level 2 and then we can go kind of like this and do one like that and then we can trim and extend them over here let's try that yeah and let's add a vertical one so just go to uh, let's see model line uh, pick a plane and here you can just go from placement plane you can go with pick and then you can go pick a plane and then you can pick this plane perhaps and then just go all the way down so there you go, that's how you create these lines. Uh, but they're now ugly and green, so what you can do, you can actually select them and you can change them. So you go just here to Line Styles and you can go with uh, Hidden Lines and they'll be dashed like this. Or uh, you can go maybe to, I don't know, Overhead Lines. Yeah, and they actually will be black now, so it looks even better. And if you want, you can go with uh, Model Lines. Let's go with Level 2 and maybe you can add the other line like this so where the wall uh, would actually be if it had some thickness so let's change these to hidden lines as well yeah this actually looks a lot better it it gives it a bit more uh, a bit more dimension uh, now uh, I like this view but the problem is we don't have any shadows and shadows always make everything look a lot better so just turn on shadows but as you can see our main part like the the most interesting part about this apartment which is this huge cabinet area that combines the living room with the kitchen and some storage over here it's uh, it's in the shade so just go here to Sun settings and go Sun settings and maybe switch it to top right let's see apply no that's the one we have uh, top left yeah, this looks a lot better and now everything is visible uh, but it's uh, too dark the shadows are too dark the materials are kind of uh, well too dark as well so we can actually change that so just go here to the uh, where you've set it your visual style to realistic and you can go to graphic display options and once we open up this dialog uh, we can actually make some changes uh, that are going to make everything look a bit better so just go to shadows and turn on ambient shadows these usually add a bit more, well, ambient. Uh, they they, they kind of make everything look uh, just a tad better. So I always like to turn them on. And then here for the lighting, you can actually make some changes. So let's drop the shadows, maybe even to 20. Yeah, that looks better. And then for the ambient light as well as the sun, bring that a bit up. So maybe just the ambient light. Yeah, and as you can see, it just uh, changes the materials in such a way that they appear a lot, uh, a lot lighter uh, in these views. So that looks really good. Let's just check that we're at the right angle. Okay, yeah, that looks, that looks all right. And uh, now let's just select this, uh, these two uh, reference uh, or these two levels. Uh, and this, that's just annotation, and we can just hide that element for now because we want to have our beautiful little view. And uh, then let's uh, make some uh, dimensions for this view. So just go here to the properties panel and for the extents, select crop view and crop region visible. And now you have this kind of window around your view. 
and now we can export this as an image so just go here to file export uh, you go down scroll down you find images and an animation you go to image and uh, here I like to set uh, first this to TIFF uh, because that's how you get like the best uh, resolution at least in my experience and this at least at 5000 pixels I know it sometimes might seem as a bit of an overkill but usually you want to have high pixels I even go at 15 uh, 15,000 for some views when you want to have just perfect quality and here you just change the where you want to save the file and you hit OK and that's how you export your JPEG and you would do this once to get this uh, daytime uh, 3D axonometric or isometric view and then for the night time uh, you need to select the table and here uh, hide that element and we select our Murphy bed family and change it to bed down and there you go now we have a nighttime option and you can of course save this as well uh, now if you want to find out how to uh, model this Murphy bed, that tutorial is coming up next, so make sure to subscribe to catch it. And if you want to download all of these families and all of the projects that I'm creating, again, check out my Patreon, link is in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video, and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.